Are you up, duck? Guess what? <gasps> We're doing bubble nails! Woo! But we're doing them with transparent jelly top coats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the bubbles are back. We're using clear tips because obviously we want it to be nice and clear. You don't just have to do it clear, obviously. You can you could do a free edge nail extension. We could do that. Should we do that? Should we do one French? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm gonna use just a nude. Now, if you're doing this on a natural nail, you wanna put the base coat on, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take way too long. <laughs> or if you're doing it on top of a nail extension, you want to put base coat on. But we're not going to do it now because it's going to take way too long. So I'm going to use not just a nude. So I've popped the gel on, but I'm just going to use the tool on the other end of the hammy picker up here to create the smile line. Then I'm just going to take off the excess off the brush so it's like that. Then we're going to pull this back and we will do two coats of that. Second coat. And we have a guide now. So this is a little bit easier. Cool. Okay, so we've got a nail bed extension done there. And when I say nail bed extension, we've extended the nail bed of the client that is <laughs> The Aliana hand today. She's so nice. She's got beautiful nail beds. She's got beautiful fingers. She doesn't moan. She doesn't interrupt me. I do like her. Don't worry, Faye will be back. <laughs> right, I love this technique. Obviously, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm slightly obsessed with bubble nails. But we have a brand new collection, which is the Jolly Top Coat Collection. And I have never done bubble nails with that. And I'm so excited. Well, I say I've never done it. We just had a little play with it and we got a little bit excited. So we're going to do it. I'm going to show you different colour combos. So I'm going to do... This one in blue first. I'm going to do them individually because um, you're going to have to do them individually because I don't want to touch the nail. So you put your base coat on first and you want to sort of like, don't splay your brush really when you're putting this on. You want to sort of glide over the top. It'll self-level nicely. And then we're going to get to bubbles. So this bubble mixture is literally dish soap. And and water, water, yeah, just mixed up to make the bubbles. I like to cure that. I'm already excited. I'm already excited. Right, lymph free pad, clean up solution. Wipe that off. Pat it dry, don't pat it dry. <gasps> I mean, I'm sorry, just like that, it looks pretty damn cool. But we've got another, another thing to do. Now we're going to get, so that colour was Hugo. That's the blue. Then now we're going to use Sasha. And we're going to go over with Sasha. <laughs> so your objective with this layer is to fill in the little holes with this top coat. So just check, have you filled them all in? And what you're looking for is it'll go a little bit smoother. So the smoother it is, then you know you've filled in those little gaps. 
I feel spoiled today. I've got two cameramen. <laughs> Not that I've touched anything. Um, <laughs> actually, Adam, hang on a second. Adam's directed. I just did. I Jay's just did, got the camera. I just did me, me bit of camera. Work. Yeah, you did on your phone. On my phone, yeah. <laughs> See? Looks really cool. Oh, yeah. Look at the bubbles. Yeah. I don't think that's actually playing. I just think that looks like a photo. No, it isn't. Oh, is it playing, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Right, just going to leave that like that for a minute. And then we're going to do the other colours on the other hands. On the other hands? On the other nails. Jesus <laughs> Christ, how many hands have I got? We have got a lot of hands though, haven't we? A lot of hands. We have got a lot of hands. Right, so now I'm going to do... I'm going to do purple. So this one is Luna. Don't forget, you will need your base coat. Not just one big bubble, please. Yes, lots of bubbles. So just make sure they're covered. So because the bubble mixture is clear, it's transparent, and it? it the light will penetrate mm. through the bubbles. I love that. Oh. So now I'm going to use Mustang, which is a gorgeous green, to fill in the holes. I'm going to do black, which is, the black is called The Veil. Veil, Veil, Veil. One thing I've got to, got to bear in mind is this product might move a tiny bit and I don't want it to move and smudge the smile line. Got to be so careful. So we're just going to put that up to the smile line. And the bubbles. Oh, I like the black one already. So with the ombre nail, are you talking about doing an ombre and then reversing the ombre? Is that what you I mean? get a bit mushy in the middle, might it then? Might not see the difference. Because you no know, matter if you did say we do pink and purple. Mm. Pink and purple mix in the middle. And then we do pink and purple the Pink and purple the still gonna have that same mix in the middle, and it? Mm. So you won't see it. Mm. I do mm. like the black. The black is a winner for me. And we're going to put pink over the top of this. So the black is the veil. The pink is party pool. Right, let's do this ombre. I know they look a bit crazy at the minute, but you know, honest to God, they're gonna look nice. So, ombre, where's my ombre brush? I mean, if we if we did the blue, if we did the blue and the pink, they'll go purple in the middle. Mm. You know, I remember when you did the what was the the one where you did and it looked like it went blurred in the middle. Mm. The black and white stripes, didn't you? Where you did it? Oh uh, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. faded. That and it went, that eyes really a bit cool. funny. Yeah, that looked really cool. Maybe it'll do something similar. Don't know. So we've got Hugo, then we've got Party Pool. It's funny with the jellies, because until it self levels, it looks like it's all pushed to the edges, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards on this. Well, side to side, side to side, side to side. Yeah, and we get like a purple in the middle. Mm. I just feel like we need a bit more pink here. Yeah. 
Bubbles? It's a tough um, squeezy bottle. It needs, if you can get a you... softer squeezy bottle, that'll help. <laughs> Ladies and gents. You need like an old old fairy liquid bottle. Yeah. Because I suppose that's what it's got in oh, anyway. Yeah, like the oh, the, look, the cylinder ones. Yeah. Have they got, you just oh, have to take them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sun mm. start to dish you feel as soft <laughs> as your face is my skin, very liquid. <laughs> Those young ones will not know that no. advert song. Advert song? Is that even the right word? Clean up solution. So this one, just clear. Just top left. And we'll do that twice. Now they look a little bit messy, don't they? That's fine. We'll just send your clients out like that. <laughs> Ta -da! So I've got a 240 grip vial here. And what we're going to do is we're going to file over all of them. It only needs to be a 240 grip because you don't want to over file it. Because what we're going to do is start to hit the first layer of bubbles. It's going to smooth it all out. And you're going to hit that first section of bubbles as we file through. And you'll also see the other colour that sits inside those bubbles. Now with this one, we want to be careful that we're not going to file this nude colour. If you do think you're going to file it, what you could do is put a top coat over the top so you've kind of got like a buff, a buffer. Mm, you know what I mean? Barrier. Could, yeah. So what would happen if you went over the top of it? You would remove the colour. All right, okay. And we just want to file this free edge, so I'm kind of putting my thumb there so I don't hit it. I feel like we need to frame this free edge, this smile line, sorry, just to get a really nice crisp smile line. Now you could do that with a glitter or something like that, but I think black would look nice, mm -hmm. just straight black. So I'm going to get my Lily liner brush. I'm just going to... Do a nice thin line, just to sharpen up that smile line. Yeah, that looks better. So now we're going to go over with a normal top coat, a glossy top coat. I mean, I suppose you, you could go matte if you wanted to go matte. But this is going to help the light penetrate through and really show off that effect. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more. I've gone in a bit too far. I just finished off with a little bit of cuticle oil because you know she needs it. <laughs> oh, look, there you are, darling. You've got some cuticle oil now. I love them. And I love how different they look on the nail bed and the free edge. I love this. 
the colours on this are gorgeous. I don't know which one's my favourite one. I quite like the ombre as well. Yeah. I would like to see the ombre with, you know, what we said. Another time, Adam, yeah, another time. time. Alright. <laughs> I love them. I love them. What a cool technique. I mean, when you see the light through them as well. <laughs> rip, rip your model's hand off. God, it looks so creepy, that hand. Oh, duck. That looks mega. Look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. Love it. Now it's time to take pictures of the beautiful hand. <laughs> She's coming with me. You know, the next horror movie I'm doing, and we've got a severed hand in it, I'm using that hand, it's so realistic. <laughs> we've got it. <laughs> anyway, you need a hand, duck. You need a hand. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. I've had fun. I don't even care if you've enjoyed it, because I've right enjoyed it, I have. I've had a laugh. I've had a little play. Um, have a go. Give us a hashtag as well. Let me know down below in the comments box if you have how to go and how you got on with it but yeah enjoy and i'll see you in the next one ta -da, duck ta -da. Ta -da, duck <laughs> <laughs>